In this video, we're going to be going over some of the most weird, cursed, and banned LEGO items that you probably didn't know exist. First, we gotta talk about the LEGO set that faced criticism for being the darkest LEGO item money can buy. This strange LEGO set isn't some train station or medieval castle, but instead, it's a recreated Nazi concentration camp. If you take a deep dive into the set, we can see these smiling skeletons who act like the prisoners from the real camps. And the dark figure used in the set can be resembled to a camp guard that ran the camps back in the 1930s. Thankfully, this set was never released to the public, however, interestingly enough, this set was sold for $70,000. Who knew such a dark set could be worth a fortune? That's insane. But since we are mentioning the dark truths about LEGO, we have to talk about one of their first sets that they have ever released. And let's just say it got major criticism because of how racist it was. This is the Red Indian set. Nothing is more racist than calling an Indian red, so you can only imagine the backlash this had on the company as a whole. The set featured four Indian characters rowing a little blue boat, and to make it even worse, they chose the most red tint they have ever used in creating a Lego character. I mean, they literally look like Crayola crayons. That's just nuts. While we're talking about nuts, we have to mention this Lego piece labeled as part 32557, which is probably the most unintentional cursed Lego piece. That that most kids don't even realize because it is so basic. Even though it's such a great connector piece and it's super common to receive in your Lego sets today, it has a super obvious hidden meaning behind it. And I guess you could say this piece is bricked up. Anyways, LEGO is known for doing collaborations with many popular brands, such as Disney, Marvel, and even Star Wars. But I bet you didn't know that this LEGO collaboration went horribly wrong. See, this set is titled Cafe Corner and was released in 2007. The set featured a fictional cafe that included a sign with a resemblance to a real-world Starbucks logo. And while it's not officially banned by LEGO, the company did receive a cease and desist letter from Starbucks. Starbucks, leading to the modification of the set in its entirety. But while we're talking about banned LEGO collaborations, we have to mention this Simpsons minifigure, which doesn't look bad at all. However, LEGO unfortunately banned this item. And not because some of them just looked incredibly cursed, but the LEGO company as a whole figured the Simpsons wasn't really appropriate for their audience, with most LEGO customers being between the ages of 13 and 17 years old. So even though they aren't the most cursed items, LEGO banned them anyways, making it impossible for another Simpsons set to ever be released. This LEGO series got banned for being the most hideous sets LEGO has ever released. The series titled Xenap featured these odd-shaped LEGO planes and items that honestly should have never been released in the first place. So because no one ever purchased these sets because of its ugly designs, LEGO banned Xenap entirely. I mean, they literally look like they belong in a Happy Meal. But this LEGO actually did come from a Happy Meal. This Ronald McDonald display piece will never show up again just because of how cursed the LEGO design is, making it the end to most clown-type LEGO designs ever. I don't know what's scarier, this display of Ronald or this minifigure. Yikes. Next, we have the LEGO series that got banned because it was too creepy for kids. LEGO Mixels were very obviously hated due to the cursed imaging and set designs for all the different monster variations. The ads for them were creepier, having the Mixels literally chomping on items that look like a kid's worst nightmare. Despite the sets being very successful with the fans, people at LEGO decided to discontinue it, putting it into LEGO Mixels for all. This LEGO set was discontinued after no one played with it. The LEGO Fabuland sets featured these weird animal-like minifigures that were honestly pretty creepy, but the real problem was how basic the set was because kids would find it almost impossible to play with these LEGO sets, making them useless and just not fun at all. So LEGO decided to ban and take Fabuland to the Gulag. But this LEGO gun is the most dangerous LEGO item a kid would ever come close to, because not only is it an obvious weapon, but the gun actually holds real LEGO bullets which means it's a choking and blinding hazard to anyone who uses it. Therefore, this set would never actually be released to the public just because of how realistic it is, and LEGO doesn't want anyone to be harmed with their product. Last but not least is the LEGO Among Us figures, which are some of the most weird and sus designed LEGO characters on the market. And while Among Us was one of the most popular video games in the world, LEGO wasn't the biggest fan of releasing these to the public. So despite the huge popularity for the game worldwide, LEGO put a ban on 
from producing any Sus Among Us figures to the public. Lego did a collaboration with Nestle. Yeah, the company known for their chocolate milk and the silly rabbit mascot of the brand who goes by the name of Quickie, which they specifically took and turned him into a minifig. And while it looks good at first, the magic doesn't happen until you take the bunny ears off. And then you're left with this weird face that honestly could have been the star of a kid's worst nightmare. However, the reason this minifig head is designed the way it is was because they needed to make the eyes match up with the bunny head in order to get the most accurate Quickie minifigure. So if you think that was cursed, wait until you see this next item. Because LEGO released this realistic spider that I bet if you put on a wall somewhere, it would scare the life out of you. This spider is a remake of the traditional spider piece that they used back in the old sets, dating as far back as 1999. The piece includes these long skinny legs and even these weird dark eyeballs that could literally be watching you from any given direction. Whereas the old spider piece looks way less scarier and also features this clip on the front that you can attach to other pieces. I don't think I'd ever want to get close to this thing because I'd probably end up hitting it with something. But I'm for sure never going next to this cursed item. Because back in 2006, they released this LEGO Spongebob set that featured this weird Squidward head that looked absolutely nothing like it. And while we have had many multiple Squidward minifigures over the years, this one looked like you just grabbed a picture of him and stomped on it. Because the head was way too flat compared to the new ones that give off the right shape of the famous squid's head. Like this video now or these eyes will be staring at you in your sleep. Anyways, these Lego Among Us designs are some of the most creepy, most sus concepts to ever be discussed with Lego. Despite the huge popularity for the game back in 2021, Lego was pitched not just one, but multiple Lego Among Us set designs and minifigures that ultimately never got cleared by them because Lego didn't like how creepy and sus the designs looked. However, nothing defines sus more than this Lego piece right here. Which which is probably the most unintentional cursed LEGO item that most kids don't even realize because it is so basic. This piece is labeled as part 32557, which is found in many Technic sets. And even though it's such a great connector piece and it's super common to receive in your LEGO sets today, I don't really have to explain what this looks like because it has a super obvious hidden meaning behind it. Oh, and by the way, there's also a longer version. Yep, and a short one too. Anyways, Minecraft and LEGO are some of the most popular things in today's world, which is probably why they have collaborations together. But there's one specific item that's super popular in the Minecraft realm, which is iconic. The Minecraft cake. People love it because when you eat it, it gets smaller by the slice, which is super satisfying. And LEGO actually made this cake one of the pieces in a Minecraft set. But can someone please explain to me why this cake is round? I mean, you have Minecraft and LEGO combined, which are both known for their blocks. So I'm I'm guessing when they made this set, they just designed the cake to what it looks like when it's in a chest instead of placed down on the ground. I guess the LEGO employees just love their cake round like Lizzo. Hey, I'm trying to get a slice of that. But the curse items don't stop there because this cursed clown display scared millions of kids. The Ronald McDonald display set came in McDonald's Happy Meals for kids to build on their own. These creepy clown displays would stare at you while you're stuffing your face with Big Macs. So because of its cursed design, it makes sense as to why LEGO stopped the production of most clown type minifigures and sets. And boy am I glad they did that because this thing is hideous. This is a LEGO toothbrush. Back in 2002, LEGO released this collab with Colgate and made this working toothbrush with the LEGO minifig inside the handle. The cursed part about this set is the fact that while you're brushing your teeth, this guy is just staring into your soul. I mean, at least they gave us a real toothbrush and not one made of bricks. Brushing with bricks? Yeah, I'm not trying to turn out like George Washington. Everyone knows the worst part about Legos is the fact that when you step on one, you immediately fall down to the floor crying. But something much worse would be wearing it. Because these strange shaped Lego slippers allow people to show off their passion for stepping on Legos. The thing about these ones though is they look super comfortable, which is completely ironic because when you step on an actual Lego, you're gonna be seeking emergency help. But this isn't the only type of footwear Lego released, because during 2021, they dropped a collab with Adidas and made a fully functional Lego shoe that can be purchased to wear right now. And while these cursed shoes still don't look pleasing at all, they are still fully functional. So you'll catch me hitting the gritty in these later. While we're used to Santa looking like this, 
this. Lego dropped this version of Santa and it looks like something straight out of a horror film. This is the Jolly Santa set that doesn't look too jolly, which they released back in 2017 for their Christmas season special. And because the set only includes 74 pieces, they had to settle for a very low detail version of Santa, which unfortunately caused them to look very cursed. Lego has released tons of minifigures over the years, but this one is definitely the weirdest one. Because if you combine a yellow torso with yellow pants, you can make almost any Lego minifigure look naked. I wouldn't take any pictures of these because it looks like there's enough flashing going on already. The good thing about yellow minifigure pants though, is when you apply them to a skin tone Lego minifig, they look just fine. Just please make sure to hide these pieces from the kids. This is an extremely cursed Lego item that no one wants to sleep next to. The monkey keychain that is from the animation Julius and Friends, which by the way, shouldn't be a kid show in the first place. This Lego monkey figure has two completely dark eyes with a mouth longer than this cursed Lego part. The worst part is, I don't know which one is more cursed. We can't have a cursed video and not talk about this item. This strange Lego set isn't some train station or medieval castle, but instead, it's a recreated Nazi concentration camp. And if you take a deep dive into the set, we can see these smiling skeletons who act like the prisoners from the real camps. And the dark figure used in the set can be resembled to a camp guard that ran the camps back in the 1930s. Luckily, this set was never released to the public because people could have made some pretty cursed images with this set. Our last cursed item on the list is not something you would expect because these are Lego underwear. Yeah, these fashionably stylish boxers with Lego bricks all over them can be found at your local Walmart. And I definitely wouldn't go close to any girls with this because they will 100% run away from you. But hey, with all these bricks on the front, I guess you could stay bricked up. In this video, we're gonna go over some weird, cursed, and strange Lego items that got rejected by Lego. And to start things off, we have Princess Leia from the popular Star Wars movies. But I know what you're thinking. Star Wars already has so many Lego collabs and sets with the popular female character in them. Well, that's until you bring up this very inappropriate version of her that is featured in over three different suggestive outfits that honestly shouldn't be seen by kids. Fans even made their own version of this minifigure hoping that they could be used in sets but Lego ultimately removed and rejected any of these Leia minifigures with inappropriate outfits. But let me know if you guys find any of these because I know someone who'd love to play with them. <laughs> Yeah, that's me. Anyways, if you're anything like me, you love playing video games. But what if I told you that you could build your own console with LEGO? Yeah, because this YouTuber who goes by the name of Brick Machines created the world's first working LEGO game console just by himself. He used tons of traditional LEGO pieces and Technic parts to create this mechanism and buttons for the console to run on. Even though I'd love to play Fortnite on one of these things, sadly the idea is way too complicated for the LEGO designers to make, which means this LEGO idea was ultimately rejected. Man, that sucks. While we're talking about games, we gotta mention one of the most popular ones, Minecraft. Lego and Minecraft have collabed on many awesome sets over the years that feature tons of cool items from the game. But one super popular thing Lego and Minecraft don't have is a Herobrine minifigure. The weird Steve stalking creature was an actual Lego idea that was gonna eventually happen because of how iconic the mob is. However, the reason they didn't fall through with this is because Herobrine wasn't an actual mob in the game files. And I don't know why they think this isn't a real mob because 8 year old me was throwing cans at my teeth when I saw this thing in my world. But this unfortunately made this set idea get rejected by Lego. So like this video now or Herobrine will be staring at you while you sleep. Anyways, this is the tallest Lego tower in the world that could literally be taller than an average skyscraper. It stands at an astounding 118 feet tall. If you think that was crazy, wait till you hear that it took over a year to make. But not only that, the tower takes over 500,000 Lego bricks to make. The best part about this giant lego skyscraper is the fact that it was made by a city in honor of an eight-year-old cancer patient named omar and the town donated tons of lego bricks for the tower to be built in order to honor the kid which makes this lego build super wholesome but of course no one is able to casually build a half a million piece lego set at home so the idea was rejected by lego this is a lego middle finger that is clearly not made for kids 
but this originally was a Lego idea that was a remake of the thumbs up hand that you can find on your minifigures. Well, that was until someone 3D printed this and made this cursed Lego item come to life, making the scale of it 10 times larger and adding more fine details to it. I don't know what's worse, getting clicked off in person or by a Lego hand. I mean, if someone threw this up at me, I'd probably throw hands. But since this cursed design is obviously very inappropriate with LEGO and its audience, the idea of this thing was thrown out the window. This next item might be the most cursed and creepy LEGO item known to existence. This is a realistic LEGO head, yeah. A helmet that you can wear that resembles an actual minifigure. But this is 10 times more scarier than your normal LEGO men. The worst part about this is that you can wear it on your head making you a walking minifigure. But just to make matters worse, there's YouTubers who are recreating and sculpting the freaky LEGO item everywhere by literally 3D printing or using clay to create this monster. My name is Jeff. So subscriber, this cursed LEGO head will be in your room tonight. Anyways, there's tons of LEGO items that we will never see because they never made it out of the group chat. But the LEGO employee that rejected this item should be fired immediately because this is LEGO Anatomy, a LEGO set that features an upscaled mini figure that splits into two, revealing this giant skeleton which is the inside of the minifigure's body as well as its organs. And while this set is really cool looking, it's also super good to teach kids with. I mean if my science teacher brought this out, I probably wouldn't have failed my final exams. This LEGO idea was actually so popular that it had articles written about it and even was featured at Legoland making it really weird as to why they would reject such a popular lego item anyways. But the reason they actually put a stop on this educational masterpiece is because we are pretty much just examining, well, you know, an inside of a human, which doesn't feel right considering the average lego consumer being young. Stranger Things might be one of the most popular Netflix series of all time, so because of its popularity, lego actually did a collab with them. And this Stranger Things lego set that features the upside down, which is the land before the real world in the show. One of the most popular things in that series is the Demogorgon, who is this weird creepy looking figure, which they introduce in this Lego set. A Lego minifigure which is at least twice as scary than any other normal figure you can possibly find. Which is probably why the Lego Stranger Things series got discontinued, making this the only Lego Stranger Things collab we will ever see. Lego did a collaboration with Nestle. Yeah. The company known for their chocolate milk and the silly rabbit mascot of the brand who goes by the name of Quickie, which they specifically took and turned him into a minifigure. And while it looks good at first, the magic doesn't happen until you take the bunny ears off. And then you're left with this weird face that honestly could have been the star of a kid's worst nightmare. However, the reason this minifig head is designed the way it is was because they needed to make the eyes match up with the bunny head in order to make the most accurate Quickie minifigure. And because this item was so cursed, it has been rejected. Who doesn't like candy? And if you're that weird one in the comment who doesn't, I'll be praying for you. But when you combine candy and Lego, you're left with this M&M and Lego collaboration, which is a fully working M&M Lego dispenser that when you click the button, your favorite color will come out of it. I mean, I'd be pressing these buttons all day. But since they can't include candy in sets at the store, Lego had to reject the idea because of it being too difficult to execute. Another rejected Lego set is the car Cartoon classic Adventure Time. Seriously, Lego, out of all the cursed collaborations you've done, why not Adventure Time? The bizarre themes and cool aesthetic the world of Adventure Time has would create some of the company's best Lego sets. Fans even made a survey that collected over 10,000 people wanting Lego to collab with the cartoon. So what actually caused this to be rejected? Well, there's technically already a few character blocks that they release, but we figures from the show and not a full blown set. Take the L Lego. This Lego set was discontinued after no one played with it. The Lego Fabuland sets featured these weird animal-like minifigures that were honestly pretty creepy. But the real problem was how basic basic the set was because kids would find almost impossible to play with these lego sets, making them useless and just not fun at all. So lego decided to ban and take Fabuland to the gulag, rejecting the series once and for all. Next we have the lego series that got rejected because it was too creepy for kids. Lego Mixels were very obviously hated due to the cursed imaging and set designs for all the different monster variations. The ads for them were even creepier, having the Mixels literally chomping on items 
items that look like a kid's worst nightmare. Despite the sets being very successful with the fans, people at LEGO decided to discontinue it, putting an end to LEGO Mixels forever. Last but not least is the LEGO Among Us figures, which are some of the most weird and sus design LEGO characters on the market. And while Among Us was one of the most popular games in the world, LEGO wasn't the biggest fan of releasing these to the public. So despite the huge popularity for the game worldwide, LEGO put a ban on producing any sus Among Us figures to the public. From a LEGO knife that could actually stab you, to a LEGO set that probably shouldn't be seen by kids, these are some of LEGO's most inappropriate items. And first, we have this Lego middle finger that is clearly not made for kids. But this originally was a Lego idea that was a remake of the thumbs up hand that you could find on your minifigures. Well, that was until someone 3D printed this and made this cursed item come to life, making the scale of it 10 times larger and adding more fine details to it. I don't know what's worse, getting flicked off in person or by a Lego hand. I mean, if someone threw this up at me, I'd probably throw hands, but I definitely wouldn't throw hands with someone who has this lego knife when you take the sharp edges of a lego piece and combine them with one of the sharpest objects you can possibly have you're left with a knife that you should definitely hide from the school threat because this youtuber who goes by the name of brick science made it his goal to combine lego pieces in order to make a knife that could actually stab someone the good thing is the knife he made only stabs in a playful way because it's retractable and i'm super glad he did that because if i saw someone reach in their book bag and pull this out, I'd be running for my life. This next item might be the most cursed and creepy Lego item known to existence. This is a realistic Lego head. Yeah, a helmet that you can wear that resembles an actual minifigure. But this is 10 times more scarier than your normal Lego men. The worst part about this is that you can actually wear it on your head, making you a walking minifigure. But just to make matters worse, there's YouTubers who are recreating and sculpting the freaking lego item everywhere by literally 3d printing or using clay to create this monster if i saw this in my house at night i'd probably have to pull out my lego knife but honestly i'd be screaming to the top of my lungs by then so like this video or he will be staring at you in your sleep anyways this is a lego sword well at least at the first glance it doesn't even look like it's made of lego but after the creation of the handle this build ended up coming out to be something that should not be made for kids. I mean, if I saw someone with this Lego sword approaching me, I'd probably have to crank some 90s in order to get away from it. But luckily, if you take a really close look, you can clearly see the blade is just made of Lego. Woo, that's a close one. Something that is definitely not made for kids is this cursed Lego piece right here. This Technic connector piece, labeled as part 32557, has an obvious hitting meaning to it and is clearly very inappropriate. This piece is literally designed to be a shape of a well you know so despite it being a great lego connector piece you can actually find this in most sets today just when things couldn't get worse i found out there's actually a long version too oh and a short version as well yep so i guess you could say this piece is bricked up moving along star wars is not only one of the most popular things in today's world but the lego sets are pretty popular too i mean the sets they have range from small ships to some of the biggest ships imaginable. So with this, we see a lot of Star Wars minifigs roaming around in these sets. Specifically, we gotta talk about Princess Leia, who has many different characters in multiple of these Star Wars sets. But this one is far too overboard, because it's dressed in very minimalistic clothing, making it inappropriate and just not good for the kids to play with. Coming in three different revealing outfits in over three different Lego sets. So next time my little cousin wants this minifigure, I'm gonna snatch it from him and play with it myself. While this Lego Winnie the Pooh set comes with this very nice bear figure, I can guarantee you I'm gonna change your mind about it when you see this next clip. Because this is the most terrifying Lego piece I've ever seen. A horrific Lego Winnie the Pooh figure that I don't ever want to see in my room at night. The thing that makes this even more scary is the fact that a fan actually created this just for an animation he made. So I don't know what's more messed up. The 
person who made this animation or the minifigure itself? I guess I'll leave that up to you guys to decide. But this Lego gun is the most dangerous Lego item that you could ever come close to. Because not only is it an obvious weapon, but the gun actually holds real Lego bullets. Which means it's a choking and blinding hazard to anyone who uses it. I know I definitely never show up to school again if someone pulls this out in class. Therefore, this set would never actually be released to the public just because of how realistic and dangerous it is. And LEGO doesn't want anyone to be harmed with their products. Stranger Things might be one of the most popular Netflix series of all time. So because of its popularity, LEGO actually did a collab with them. And this Stranger Things LEGO set that features the upside down, which is the land below the real world in the show. One of the most popular things in this series is the Demogorgon, who is this weird creepy looking figure, which they introduced in this LEGO set. A LEGO minifigure which is at least twice as scary than any other normal figure you can find, which is probably why the LEGO Stranger Things series got discontinued, making this the only LEGO Stranger Things collab ever made. But despite the cool set, don't let it distract you from the fact that this Demogorgon is gonna be in your nightmares if you don't subscribe. Yeah, I'm assuming at one point of your childhood, you have played the mobile game Angry Birds, which features these green pigs that are the enemies you're trying to take down. So when LEGO collabed with this super popular game, they created this monstrosity of a LEGO pig from Angry Birds. The green turd looking figures featured this cursed shape and this very cursed mustache. But overall, something I would just not want to own myself because of how disturbing it looks. Yikes. This is an extremely cursed LEGO item that no one wants to sleep next to. Because LEGO released a monkey keychain that is from the animation Julius and Friends. Which, by the way is really weird and shouldn't even be a kid show in the first place. The Lego monkey figure has two completely dark eyes with a mouth longer than this cursed Lego part. The worst part is, I don't know which one's more cursed. Lego has had many different monkey figures in the past, but for some odd reason, this one definitely takes the cake as the worst. There are some extremely dark R-rated Lego minifigures out there, but one that really takes the cake is yellow minifigs. Because if you combine a yellow torso with yellow pants, you can make almost any LEGO minifigure look naked. And to be honest, I probably wouldn't take any pictures of these because it looks like there's enough flashing going on already. The good thing about yellow minifigure pants though, is that when you apply them to a skin tone LEGO minifig, they look completely normal. Just please make sure you hide these pieces from the kids. If you enjoy Halloween season, and well, pumpkin carving in general, what I'm about to show you is gonna ruin that forever because this is the most creepy lego jack-o-lantern i've ever seen but it even comes in multiple different variations where each one of them have this creepy smile engraved into their head just like a real pumpkin i mean if i saw this outside of a house on halloween i'd rather go trick-or-treating in the back rooms or something anyways we can't have an r-rated lego video and not mention this very inappropriate set because this is a lego recreated not concentration camp that kids should definitely never play with. The strange Lego set features the white smiling skeletons and the eerie camp guards which, if you take a deep dive into the set, we can see these smiling skeletons who act like the prisoners from the real camp. And the dark figure used in this set can be resembled to a camp guard that ran the camps back in the 1930s. But luckily, this set was never released to the public because people could have made some pretty cursed images with this set. The craziest part though is this set was sold for $70,000. And I don't know about you, but even though it's dark, I definitely get it for the money. Lego dropped this version of Santa. Well, at least it's supposed to look like Santa, but it looks like something straight out of a horror film. This is the Jolly Santa set that doesn't look too jolly, which they released back in 2017 for their Christmas season special. And because the set only includes 74 pieces, they had to settle for a very low detailed version of Santa, making this really creepy and just not made for kids to enjoy in the first place. I really hope they added an 18 plus tag to this because I can assure no kid wants this. This Lego set is outdated, but be aware because this set has a rather dark meaning before you go ahead and label this as a cool set. Because upon closer inspection, the knights besides this otherwise harmless car are quite interesting because they are all the same color. As you can see, this wasn't just any old wagon. This is a wagon 
coffin containing one of the fallen knight's remains. And well, that's pretty dark. There's this giant elephant from Lego Legends of Chima that is really cool looking. Well, at least at first glance. Because the magic happens when you take his elephant head off. And then you're left with this freaky looking minifig head that could honestly be the star of a kid's worst nightmare. I don't know what Lego employee thought it was a good idea to make this elephant head detachable, but I'm gonna assume that they're probably fired by now. Well, at least I hope. Everyone knows the worst part about Legos is the fact that when you step on one, you immediately fall down to the floor crying. But something much worse would be wearing it, because these strange shaped Lego slippers allow people to show off their passion for stepping on Legos. The thing about these ones though is they look super comfortable, because when you step on an actual Lego, you're gonna be seeking emergency help. Unless you're like me, because I like to hit the gritty in Legos. Yeah, that's right. Speaking of Lego items that you can actually wear, these are some Lego underwear. Yeah, these fashionably stylish boxers with Lego bricks all over them can literally be found at your local Walmart. And I definitely wouldn't go close to any females with this because they will 1000% run away from you. But hey, with all these bricks on the front, I guess you could stay bricked up. Anyways, everyone knows the most annoying bug and the struggles that come with trying to swat it. Yeah, I'm talking about a fly, but not just any fly, this Lego fly head that comes with a bunch of Lego collectible minifigures you can obtain by buying a pack at Walmart or even Target. But the really weird part about this fly man is the fact that this fly head can literally be detached and put on any other minifigure, making them really creepy and just cursed as a whole. So if I I saw this thing flying around, I'd definitely be smacking that thing with a swatter. Last but definitely not least, we gotta mention this Lego set that got banned purely because of how racist it was. This is the Red Indian set. Nothing is more racist than calling an Indian red, so you can only imagine the backlash this had on the company as a whole. The set featured four Indian characters rowing a little blue boat, and to make it even worse, they chose the most red tint that they have ever used in creating a character. I mean, they literally look like Crayola crayons. That's just nuts. But if you love nuts, subscribe.